The video that you're about to see is actually going to be testing the new internet connection we got recently. We got HughesNet Gen 4 to replace the old Gorge net we were running on. Our internet service is 10 meg down and 1 meg up, so that's not too bad. Uh, we get 10 gigabytes of anytime data that seems to reset every night, so we get 10 gigs every day. And from 1 a.m. to 7.59 a.m., we get 50 gigs of bonus data, so we get 60 gigs every month. So I don't know how well it's going to work for uploading YouTube videos, but this sure will be a test. So go ahead and uh, continue watching, and we'll see just what's in store for this video. I'm sure you're all excited. So yeah, without further ado, here's your scheduled program. It's finally a decent day outside. It's about 57 degrees Fahrenheit, and of course, you got typical teenage distracted drivers. Yes, this video is about cars. Well, at least the two that I've talked about, at least on this channel. Um, the 2006 Dodge Dakota and the 1991 Cadillac Seville Base. <clears throat> so I figure I'll talk about the Cadillac first. So I just gave it a fresh wash today. I haven't yet put on the tire wet again. I need to do that, but give it a nice wash with uh, car wash soap and a little bit of Dawn to cut some of the road grime off. It's not perfect yet because I still have yet to try and scrub off all of this. So that's gonna take a bit of touch up, but otherwise it cleaned up nice and it shines like it never once had. So it's looking great. Just just looks like an awesome vehicle, I'll tell you what. Let's make some great stock photos from some automobile website. Looks like I happened to miss this little spot right there. Oh well, no big deal. We got a new hose recently and a new spray nozzle, so I was able to clean off some of the old crusty dried up wax that was on there, old turtle wax or whatever. It's not perfect, but it's definitely better than what it was. Now it's time to open the hood and I'll show you all what was going on with the motor that prevented me from being able to drive this car. It's a very interesting situation that I had to fix. So I'll just get this open here and use the redneck hood latch and I'll show you. All right, now it's time to take a look and see what's been changed. So for those who don't know, this is the GM 4.9 liter or 299 <laughs> you can make a joke about that but that's literally what the cubic inch rating of this motor is it's the 299 or 4.9 liter port fuel injection v8 and there was a problem down here with the water pump now what was going on with that was when we went to start up the car one day and we were going to go drive it it was making this horrible rattling noise. I mean, it was so bad that it was causing the engine to stall and not rev normally. And it was making a ton of smoke out the back. And yes, the trunk door was open. That's where I had to get the pull the hood, pull the hood open. So put that back in after the video. So we ended up finding out what the problem was when we got a mechanic over here to take a look at it. And as it turns out, when he was diagnosing the fan belt broke. So I'll go ahead and get the iPad in here a little bit and I can show you. So you see that there's new bolts in there. There's that one and that one, and I think another one down there. Actually, yeah, they're all replaced. I just want to make sure. And the water pump's flywheel was only being held on by one bolt instead of three. So it was really causing some issues in which case it broke the fan belt and cleaned two part. So that was a real shame. So we had to not only buy a new fan belt, which was a nice 30 bucks or so, we had to buy three new bolts and washers to put the flywheel back on. And it turns out that one of the flywheel uh, mounting bolts was actually broken. I'm not getting that in there, I know. Um, it was actually kind of uh, broke. Um, it wasn't a really big deal 
So obviously we just put it back on and it locked fine. But yeah, I could have had a much worse problem. So at first I thought it was something wrong with the power steering pump since it seemed like this piece right there or wherever on the power steering pump was rattling. And I mean, it was physically moving that piece right there. Now this piece is what moves that little pulley up so you can get the fan belt on or the serpentine belt. And um, so yeah, putting the belt on was a bit of a chore, but we got it on there. And of course, uh, back in December 2014, we bought a brand new battery with a 48 month warranty. And I think we need to change the oil again because the car is complaining about um, having change the oil so maybe one of these days during the spring or summer I'll take it down and I'm gonna put in a blend of uh, high mileage oil into this some kind of um, synthetic high mileage oil I'm gonna put into this because the engine is pretty tired and whatever not tired but it's on its way there so and another thing that I had to do I didn't upload this to YouTube but the coolant was leaking so right there you can see there's this little cap which is used to keep pressure in the cooling system to allow the coolant to flow through the engine, to cool the engine of course. Well what was wrong was the coolant was leaking and it was dripping down this hose and dripping onto the motor. So what I did was, and I thought this was the problem at first, but we replaced this piece of hose that's about 8 inches. And I also, at a later date, replaced the clamps, but that still didn't fix the issue. So what I had to do was I had to go down to Napa and buy one of those um, antifreeze kits um, that had a three-quarter inch uh, piece on it. So that was fixed, and it only cost me $1.60. So coolant system works perfectly, and the engine runs at normal temperatures, so I'm happy. And uh, I think the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do to this is I'm going to change the air filter. Now, this is the standard paper air filter that is on this car. And it currently gets around, I want to say low to mid 20s on the highway um, and about 13 in the city uh, for miles per gallon, uh, US miles per gallon. And so I'm thinking I'm going to put on, if they have one, I'm going to put on a K&N. So, that ought to bring the miles per gallon up by at least two or three in the city or in highway or whatever. And that should also make the engine run a little bit more efficiently. So it's all been going pretty well for the car. And so far I've pinpointed everything that I can see. And so far nothing's leaking right now and motor runs great. So it's all going perfectly to plan at least. Although except for more cracks in the grill there, but oh well. It's not like you can't prevent that on almost 25 year old plastic. Still have yet to get uh, some super glue to glue back on the piece of broken Cadillac crest. So I'll need to do that at a later date. New tires are still holding up pretty well. Um, we did actually take this car on a little bit of a drive recently and I put in around $20 in gas. So that was about 6.66 .66 gallons. Can believe that's the satanic number 666 almost 6.67 um, us gallons for 20 bucks so that was 2.99 a gallon for premium gas or shell v power i put in shell v power because it runs the best in this engine and the last thing i need to really do is clean the interior once again now as you'll notice i've put in new floor mats these are obviously designed to be a foresty type of theme some kind of country-esque thing and uh, they look pretty good i thought they were gonna look kind of goofy in this car but actually they look pretty nice i will say and um, i do plan on probably taking the leather cleaner to the interior and taking a clean rag and just wiping over every single little bit of leather i can find in this interior because there is a lot of leather in this interior and then we got a brand new carpet shampooer recently so I'm going to take out the floor mats and probably do those separately and I'll shampoo the carpets on the floor and also shampoo the carpets on the speaker grills for the 
speakers, of course. And of course, those carpeted door inserts. And then I'll just take armor all to everything else that's just plastic or vinyl, such as the door panels and that door panel, which is kind of fallen off. I need to get someone in there to take a look at that as well. And um, one last thing I forgot to actually show was that I need to replace one of the rear lights. There's six lights total on this back part here, and the center one on this side burnt out, so I need to take that out and take it down and get a replacement bulb. But otherwise, um, there's a few minor things I'd like to change. Like I said, the can and air filter, and I want to actually change out the radio for a newer radio. Oops, sorry about that. Fix the focus here some point we can get the focus to change there we go uh, I was thinking about wanting to replace the radio in this car I was gonna want to get something like a Sony head unit or some other head unit like a I don't know if I want to put in a Clarion in this if it even work something with uh, USB and aux input and probably even Bluetooth for hands-free talking on the radio now I know those radios are pretty expensive yes but it's either I keep this radio or whatever or I upgrade it to something else with an aux input because I had plans of either mounting um, a iPad up here on the dash to use a, some sort of pseudo dash cam or whatever or I could put all that money and keep this radio for now and I could put all that money towards buying a new Surface Pro so I don't know what I'm gonna do but see how it happens I think what I'm going to go ahead and do, and this is going to be a big decision for me, but I think I'm going to go ahead and sell the iPad, sell my my Lenovo G780, and buy a Surface Pro, and I'll just go back to using a standalone camcorder, or I'll just use the Surface Pro's cameras. I don't know. I don't have the keys with me right now to turn the interior on, but um, another thing that's happened recently is the brake light came on when I used the emergency brake, so the brake light hasn't come off yet so I'll need to probably look into that transmission's been working fine I just need to clean everything out I need to take like some kind of toothbrush and maybe a little bit of disinfectant and clean in there and then um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about these cracked wood grain inserts here but another day another day but um, so far this car has been working great and I've been really enjoying it. So I'm just hoping that there's not much more issues with this, if any, because it's been working great. And um, I really have been happy. Um, and obviously I've been feeling better, so I don't have to worry about, um, you know, feeling sick. So maybe I'll get around to using a little bit of wax to this, I'll wax down the car. I'm not sure if I got some in the garage near my grandma's house. <laughs> Got an old Ford convertible going down the street there. Very cool. And now onto the truck. Well, the truck hasn't gotten anything better, you know, sounding in terms of the title situation. We haven't even bothered to clean the floor and fauna that is the interior. <laughs> so... So far, it's just been sitting here. Um, I started it up just a couple days ago, or actually a week ago, just to see how it's doing, and it's doing fine. And um, again, the title has yet to be solved. Unfortunately, we gotta take it to court and fight for the title, which is not gonna be fun, because we could ultimately lose the truck because they could believe the other person's story. So, we might ultimately lose the truck because of that. So we lost $500 to an attorney and all that happy, fun stuff. So this truck might be saying goodbye here in the next couple weeks to a month or maybe a little bit. But the Cadillac is here to stay with me if the truck does leave. So, oh well. Can't have everything in life, and well, I guess that'll be the same thing for the truck. But otherwise, the truck's running fine, and um, 
it's been really a nice little addition to the quote unquote car lot. <laughs> so I guess you could call it a mini car lot because we got my grandma's car over there. We got this thing, we got this thing. Who knows, might get another vehicle. Not them, but might get another vehicle to fill up this space here. <laughs> Granted, we need to find some way to cover up those um, sprinkler system valves so that they don't get ran over. And we need to move those old sawhorses out of the way because they're just rotten. And who knows, maybe we'll accommodate some other vehicle for cheap. Fix it up and whatever. <laughs> so... Yep, that's just a little mini car update, uh, mostly on the Cadillac, and yeah, also a little bit of information on the truck. So, I don't know what else I'm going to probably make for videos, um, but um, whatever. Someday, you'll become the once true luxury vehicle you were ought to be.